France's Prime Minister has offered a concession to unions in a bid to end nationwide strikes against proposed pension reforms. Edouard Philippe said he was willing to withdraw a proposal which would raise the retirement age to 64. There have been five weeks of protest against the government's plans, one of the longest strikes in French history. Tim Allman reports. In Paris, as in other cities across France, this has become an all too familiar sight. Riot police, tear gas, protests in the street. Another day of demonstrations descending into violent clashes. Earlier, the marches were peaceful and colourful. Thousands angry over proposed reforms to the country's pension system. Ministers say they have to introduce changes to make things fairer and more affordable. Union leaders insist workers will lose out. Up till now, stalemate. But then the government came forward with what was described as a constructive compromise. In a letter to the unions, the country's Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe, said, I am willing to withdraw from the bill the short-term measure I had proposed, namely the increase in the retirement age from 62 to 64. The compromise that I'm offering, he added, seems to me the best way to peacefully reform our retirement system. Some unions welcome the move, calling it a victory, but others remain far from convinced. We don't care about the retirement age. We want a full withdrawal, pure and simple. More talks are expected next week, but so too are more demonstrations and more strikes. An agreement still looks a long way off. Tim Allman, BBC News.